So in this video, we're unboxing a set of standard swivel clamps, wet sounds. Uh, this is a, well, this is one pair, both sides of the box. Uh, I have the standard clamp for the Rev 410s. Um, this is the base of the clamp. These are power wires are here. The plug RGB wires here with the plug as well. Two wires pass through for the power of the speaker. The clamps work uh, universally for and most tower sizes, if not all tower sizes, by one clip sliding into the other. In the past, the clamps that I've had were the top and bottom were the same, you know, had the same diameter and circumference, uh, and you had to use a uh, rubber to fill in. I already like this clamp much better as it squeezes tight uh, to the size of your bar, which is amazing. Comes with screws there uh, to fasten the clamp down on the Uh, wakeboard tower and as well as to whatever you're mounting on the clamp so of course a speaker uh, also comes with end cap this is my uh, first unboxing as well we have some nylon washers that go inside of the uh, looks like the base of the clamp I believe that's the base in the picture but I just wanted to give a quick unboxing. I had so many questions that I'll try to cover as I, you know, go throughout this video about the Rev 410s because that's what I purchased uh, today. So let's get over to the uh, speakers themselves. Um, they come nicely packaged in a box. Uh, I was trying to do research to find out whatever I could and. I just wasn't satisfied with what I saw on the website and what I've seen from uh, blogs or forums. Uh, I believe that these screws here should be some under here or not are for the clamp as well. So some of the screws for the clamp are in the clamp box. Those are probably just for the clamp. And then the screws that actually go to the speakers, I believe, come with the um, the speakers that you buy themselves. I could be mistaken, but I, that's what I read and that's what I'm seeing here. Uh, the box itself weighs, I don't know, 40 pounds or so. Here's the uh, packaged Rev 410. Uh, nicely covered. Uh, I'll put the styrofoam on each side. Very well secured. This is what we have uh, once I take this. Uh, it's actually a relatively thick cloth. Uh, it is see through, however, but it uh, has a good texture to it to keep from scratching the, um, the finish of the speaker uh, casing. Um, as you can see, it has the remove blue film over the uh, speaker grill. We have this huge uh, horn or tweeter. That's what I'm used to referring to it as, uh, you know, in the car industry. Uh, but I believe they refer to it as a horn. I could be mistaken. I'm sure, you know, somebody will be happy to correct me uh, if I'm incorrect. I'm gonna flip this thing over and take a look at the uh, connections for power and RGB. One of my main questions when I was purchasing different things for this setup was how many wires actually enter the case, enter the, the enclosure. And uh, because you're gonna wanna know well, how much wire do I need, uh, especially if you're buying wet wire. Uh, in this case, 
it looks like you save a little bit of money uh, on the wire at least by getting the 410 because it's clearly just uh, one wire going into this uh, unit and um, for the price of this um, and I'm sure the website suggests that you don't need to open this up and mess with anything uh, I'm not I paid a lot of money for this it better come you know ready to go so just have the two mounts at the bottom this is the bottom this is what is going the area that's going to be fastened to your tower so more likely than not this is what you're going to see when you're in your boat uh, depending on how tall you are you might see the top of it um, but i would assume most people oh you know what you could mount this upside down so it depends on where you're mounting this on your tower so for me i'm actually mounting this above my tower as long as i have the clearance for my tow rope um uh, hook on my uh, connection swivel uh bar on the tower then i'm going to mount it on top i really don't want to mount it underneath this box is uh 11 inches uh plus or minus uh, i'm sorry 11 inches plus with the clamps so look at 11 and a half potentially even 12 inch drop if you're talking about symmetrics um I'm probably going to just keep this in the middle. In the future, I would hope to purchase another set of uh, 410s. Um, but for now, in the sake of uh, symmetry, uh, I'm going to mount this in the middle somewhere. So if I can't put it on the top because I don't have the clearance for the rope um, on the uh, wake tower, then I'll definitely mount it on the bottom and just sacrifice that headroom. It'll be motivation to purchase another 410 to put on the opposite side to uh, sort of even it out. But I will definitely do some measuring because I can live with um, having it on one side or the other uh, for the sake of headroom. I didn't think it'd be a big issue, but everyone I know that does have that issue with clearance down the, down the middle of their boat, uh, they don't like it. So I'm going to make sure I don't put myself in that same position uh, other than that you know everything here looks uh, pretty solid these are rubber um, inserts I'm sure they you know ha must have screws behind them uh, so there's no exposed screws I'll flip it over to the uh, opposite side and we can take a look at what's going on there this would be I guess considered upside down um, this is the opposite side of the brackets, nice and smooth. Um, very um, pleasing to the eye look of this uh, enclosure. Kind of reminds me of like a motorcycle fairing. Um, really has a, a nice look to it. Um, really can't say much or less about it I just you know was ultra curious about how much wire would I need um, and now I know I just need a you know a set of wires running to it uh, I'll have some uh, more videos coming you know, showing you my amp setup and things like that I have a friend who's really pushing me towards that Sinister amp or another Wet Sounds amp because the Wet Sound combination is supposed to be superior to any other combination. Um, I'm just having a hard time because I am truly a, a rock for Fallsgate um, T series, TS series kind of a guy when it comes to um, aftermarket. Uh, obviously, um, when it comes to OEM and things like that. I really like the Bose system. So sticking with what I know going after market and things like that, I'm really leaning towards a Rockford amp. But I'm going to hook up to uh, to his Sinister amp and kind of see what potential these things have and uh, see how my amp, you know, powers these as well. Uh, right now I have a JBL, but I'm looking at a kind of a Rockford Fosgate um, 500 watt um, RMS 
amp. There's a few out there that I'm you know willing to try because I'm hoping that I can go with a, a T1 or a T2 sub, just one of them. Uh, something along those lines so I can even that out with the bass, but I'm excited, you know, post this video and I hope it, it helps people out and trying to figure out what they should do. One other thing is, why did I go 410? I went uh, 410 because I wanted two tens, but I definitely wanted this horn. I got the horn, I got the two tens, I'm satisfied.